<coughs> Welcome. We talk today about uh, salt governance. In fact, for a small amount of hydrogen, carbon fiber tanks of the fuel cell vehicle or the fueling station tank are enough. But how can we deal with mass amount of hydrogen produced from chemical industry or from smart grid reserves or from nuclear reactor? Can you imagine it? Just one reactor uh, of uh, one, giga, one gigawatt power can produce 200,000 ton of hydrogen every year. The question is, how can we store this huge amount of hydrogen? One of the elegant techniques is the salt coverings. How it, uh, how it goes on? It's, it's really easy a technique. In several places worldwide, there are salt layers in the Earth's crust. It's not uh, far away from the Earth's surface, just one or two miles. Okay, we drill several inches pipe to reach this uh, layer, maybe six or eight uh, inches to reach this salt layer, and then we inject a lot uh, of water to make salty lake in underground. After that, we press uh, hydrogen. This salt covers may uh, contain thousands or, or say, millions uh, of cubic meters. But the side effects also are important. The first one is the efficiency. The efficiency, the hydrogen is a small little and its diffusion is high. I mean, if we store this huge amount of, of hydrogen, will we restore the same amount? So the question is about the efficiency. The second concern is the safety. We should have protection against collapse of the salt caverns. Did it collapse uh, before? Yes. We have more than 12 incidents of leakage and collapse of underground uh, gas uh, storage. The worst and the most famous of them was in South uh, Louisiana, where it destroyed the neighborhood community. So these uh, salt caverns should be a way uh, of the urban communities and we should take care of the safety. This is one of the techniques of hydrogen storage and we will talk on other techniques later on. Thank you.